It's our final stretch to the finish. Wheel to wheel. Jet looks back. Jet looks good, man. He's did what he had to do. You were entering your turns fast and he tons like nearly too fast. Oh, no. no! Jet's gone down hard. Happy birthday, Hunter. He needs to gain 13 today to wrap up the title on Shimoda, and he's taking a big step toward doing that. I need direction. What am I going to say, Hunter? I don't know. Welcome to my Welcome to two sons plan. are idiots or something. Gets, like, who knows you better? Wait, no. Who knows you better? There you go. Who knows who better? Hi, I'm Emma Lawrence, and welcome to. Oh my gosh, what's who the name knows of the thing? Who I need better? You can't give me shit. If... <laughs> who knows who better? Is <laughs> a child playing with a water pistol giving me advice? Hi, I'm Emma Lawrence, and welcome to Who Knows Who's Better. Who knows who better? Hi, I'm Emma Lawrence, and welcome to Who Knows Who Who's Better Flight Panthers. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Jesus! So, <laughs> this is where I am him, and you are like, you're one take wonder, and I'm wow. the same as Jet. I mess it up the more I try it. Hi, it's Emma Lawrence, and welcome to Who Knows Who Better Flight Plan Edition. The object of this game is to see how well the boys really know each other or remember things about each other. So, Jet, are you listening? Yeah. So, Jet, what is Hunter's middle name? Jackson. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, do I know all the answers? Like, that's what I need oh. to know. Can you, like, pay attention? Because all I can I hear am. is a water pistol in the background. I literally answered the question perfect with no Are you looking at the camera? So, Hunter, what's Jet's middle name? Riley. You actually know. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Jet, can you put your toys down and focus for five minutes? Oh, my goodness me. It's like a five-year-old. <laughs> Nearly ten years into this whole journey, this is our new normal. It, it's crazy, I guess, to a lot of people, but this is life as it is, as we know it to us. We talk about AT. Where is this clown? Where is he? You want to show him his area? I mean, really, we're probably like a lot of other parents. You recognise the talent in your boys and you hope that they have every piece of the puzzle that they need to put together, be able to be successful or to, to get to this level at least. Show them the island boy thing on the side of the locker. Are you for real? Yeah, right. go look. Uh, no. Go look. You dream of it, but yeah, you, to believe it, I don't know. The balance side that you asked, that's the thing I probably tr am aware of to allow them to become who they are. Have you got there, brother? Thank you. Hi, birthday. You know, I think by the time a, a, a boy gets to 18, 16, you sort of time with them's nearly done. You know, you've done all the, the parenting to then. And then from then on, you're like a backup role. Brittany, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> it's busy. It's Brittany. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, what are you hey, doing? How old are you? 21? <laughs> nah, 22. He's lying. It's 23. Tell the camera, what do you want for your birthday? Uh, I'd love for Red Bull to license whatever song we pick so we can use it. That'd be awesome. What if that's not possible? What do you want? You just want... Well, then we'll just try license the next song. <laughs> like a metal. Fast. No slow mo. No rap music. Metal, fast, raw, shaking the camera, speed things up. This sort of goes for both boys. Like, m motocross is something that they do, it's not who they are. So for us, the most important thing is making sure that they're 
good human beings to everyone that they meet. So I've got this great idea. I think I just telekinetically received it. We shoot an edit out there, you riding. Yeah. We slow mo. I got one better. Like, a lot of slow mo. Double slow mo. Double yeah. slow mo. Yeah. And then put a mumble rap song. Yeah. Into that. Into that slow mo. We drop that bitch. <laughs> They're still boys, they're still gonna get up to mischief and do wrong things, but just to generally, just to be a good person in life and, and you know, that's what gets left behind. Sure, you can make history with motocross and things like that, but people remember you for who you were as a person rather than things on a, stats on a piece of paper. I just know that how they parent to get the best results out of their kids the best way. And it's been successful. They still make mistakes. Not, well, everyone has their ups and downs, but they've kind of figured out the best way to raise three boys, two racers. They've figured out how to do it. And it hasn't been easy, I'm sure. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, the Hunter! Happy birthday to you. You know what I want for my birthday, actually? Me to shut the f up. Never do that again. Okay, got it. <laughs> right, here's your piece. Yeah. Be careful, it's a big piece. And it's funny, yeah, they put that helmet on and you wouldn't know that it's some idiot kid going and buying Barbie doll fishing poles, <laughs> you know? So, yeah, it is, um, it is amazing when they put that helmet on. They are professional what they do. Okay, back around. Jet, what's Hunter's favourite band? Hunter's favourite band is Tool. Hunter, yes. who is Jet's celebrity, like current celebrity crush? Any girl on Instagram with a midriff top and a sport dress or in a bikini? No, celebrity. Yeah, that's all of them. Uh, they don't <laughs> have to be celebrities as far Blue as his explore page celebrity, goes. <laughs> is it? <laughs> oh, I, I have what? No, there's he one. He has one. There's I the know one I've always one. talked about. Megan Fox. Yeah. <sighs> Arr. Arr. Jet, who was Hunter's racing hero or idol when he was a child? Who did he look up Ryan to? Ryan Villapoto. Yep. Home run. We need to keep score. Hunter, what was the name of the hip hop crew that Jet used to dance in? Was it like uh, the terrifying tap dancers or something like that? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I, I know. TikTok is infuriated. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I don't know. I actually don't think I ever ever remember. You would, like, you know, it when you heard it, because you said. What give was him it then? Time. I'll take an L. It's expialidocious or something like Do that. Expialidopus. Oh yeah, Ex I never. Sorry, I never would have guessed that. Expialidopus. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Jet Lawrence, he has won all but one race this year overall, but there have been many times where other riders have appeared to have the Australian on the rope. So can he keep it going? We're ready for the final four rounds of the 2022 season. You were entering your turns fast a few times, like nearly too fast. Like your ice speed was really, really quick, straight off the bat. My role in the HRC team is I get the time to dream and, and think about how I can make the motorcycle better, how I can make my athlete better. Some of the turns I'm like, F me, Jet. This is a secret sauce. No one watches a CRF 250 factory Honda more than Darren Lawrence. He's the best guy for that job when it comes to setting that bike up on Saturdays. I'm just blown away at the level of these other riders, and Jet just keeps getting it done. Well, Jet's still going to want to win every overall. He wants to try to go through and win as many as he can. Here we go. But on the other hand, he also needs to not do anything silly because he has a really, really good point sleep. The number one of Jet Lawrence at the back of this train. I'm going to say about sixth place right now. Just to keep on doing what I'm doing, try and rack up more wins, see if I can go 11 and 1. We'll see. We never know what can happen. Oh, 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 Lawrence down. Boom. It's about a seven second fall. And it is Lawrence Brothers battling again here at Unadilla. Jet's going to get to the inside and landing. It, yeah. And he's got it. Oh, oh, no. oh, Jet's gone down hard. He got off so easy. Yeah, he does. 
He is. He's good like that. He's like a cat. <laughs> Every time I got around Romano, I just freaking blow up. Like the second one, I was fine. I came around, my freaking foot downshifted. Went yeah, and that's what I got. Ah, oh, shit. It looks like you're a little bit too quick today for the track. Like you're overriding some sections. So you just got to be a little bit more calm, a little more patient. So I relay a lot of information of what I see the motorcycle do, what I see my athletes do onto them. And then collectively, because they're smarter than I am every day of the week, but they don't have the time to spend dreaming or inventing something that might make the motorcycle better. Jet Lawrence, we talked about bouncing back. Oh, I need to do it right now. Cooper cuts him off. Oh, Jet Lawrence is down again. So here's what shows just how strong Jet and Hunter Lawrence are. Both riders have been on the ground this moto, this moto yes. and they're both still running top five. Darren's figured out the code. You outwork everyone, outthink it, and really, really, really care. That's the trick. Pretty bummed. Had the overall in me, and uh, yeah, just let it slip away. Tough day for Hunter, but uh, I'm sure he'll come back swinging next week at Bud's Creek. Well, that's three races in a row that he could have won, but he did actually gain two points, despite all that on his brother. You live and learn, and sometimes my old man used to always say, a kick in the ass never hurt anyone. So today we all had a kick in the ass. Darren has given his whole life to being the best he can. The rebound, what I wanted is it'll make the initial part of the compression just a smidge harder. Jet looks good, man. He's did what he had to do. Uh, looks like he's gonna end up on a podium, I think. Overall, not a bad day. He made points up on his brother. to be about a nine-point swing in the series. He needs to gain 13 today to wrap up the title on Shimoda, and he's taking a big step toward doing that. I'm just the, the dreamer, I guess, you know. I, I tinker and, and, and try to work out ways to, to help our team and also Honda as a brand worldwide, you know, to help make the motorcycle as good as it could possibly be. Hunter Lawrence second in this moto, Jet Lawrence third in the moto, the 1-3 should be the overall win for Jet as we count down the final few corners of this one. Everyone compliments each other, and that's what they have over there around one right now. You want the secret sauce? Look at the Lawrence's Village. Jed had won all but one overall at one point this season, and then did not win the last two. But he's back on top today. Not going to be enough to wrap the title up early, but Jed Lawrence will win the overall here at Ironman Raceway. As for the Lawrence camp, well, coulda, shoulda, came so close to wrapping up the title last week. You know, the only thing that can go wrong with this is if you do something, but you're Jet Lawrence. Just keep that number one plate and see if you can gather another one here in this first moto. Okay, yeah, let's see who's a future Hall of Famer on this gate. 32nd card is up, and Jet has won the overall every time we've raced this track. He says it's not his favorite track, but for some reason the results seem to show it. And Jet shoots out to the front, can lead him into turn one. Cooper right behind him. From Jet Lawrence, this is dream scenario. He's got clear track, and he's got his best friend with Shimoda on back of him, so here's the race is on. Even with Jet being good, I think he's dealing with a different Shimoda compared to what it was at the first race. Okay, a little bit of pressure being applied. Shimoda to Lawrence. Lawrence only needs to finish 12th in this photo to win the title. How will Jet Lawrence play it? With Shimoda right there. Look at Hunter Lawrence. I don't know where he found that from, but he got right to the real wheel now of Shimoda. What a battle right now. Past the mechanics area. Spectacular action. It's our final stretch to the finish. Wheel to wheel. Jet looks back. And he's got the moto win over his brother. And Jet Lawrence, for the second straight year, is the 250 National Motocross champion. Woo! That's how it Jet feels. Lawrence, two-time national champion. I know you were stressing a little bit there. Hunter snuck up on you right at the end, but that had to be a great way to go out. Not only do you clinch it, you win the moto as well. Yeah, no, it's, it obviously feels great. I'm still a little bummed. I wish I would have knew it was Hunter, but I heard he got in second on that last lap. But I uh, was a little bummed that I didn't, get, uh, didn't give Hunter an extra three points. So, but hey, it is what it is.
No words. Sing me to sleep with a sun for down. Sing me to sleep with a sun for down. Is that rash on your crutch? Hey, I'm this is about? not say Darren Lawrence. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like I said, congratulations, man. Three in a row, man. That's very hard to do in this day and age. You know, like I said, I know Jim from the grab. I know Jim Stewart. And uh, like, he's a nice up-and-coming superstar, right? The breed right here, the breed. All right, baby.